Oh, hello. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today we're going to be doing a sandwich from World War I, specifically from the UK in World War I, called the Trench Sandwich. Now, man, Pete, Living History UK on TikTok did this, and y'all tagged me literally a million times, which is literally not how literal works. Anyway, I was tagged a lot, uh, and it's an interesting sounding sandwich. And uh, for those of you who might be joining from Pete's channel or new to the channel, just remember, on Sandwiches of History, what I do is I make sandwiches from old recipes, then plus them up for the modern palate if they have potential. Okay, let's get into it. First thing we have to do is put on some jam. He used strawberry jam because he couldn't find uh, plum and apple jam. Neither could I. Now we put on thick slices of sharp cheddar cheese. Uh, yes, I went to the store and bought an English cheddar cheese. And then uh, slices of canned corned beef. And no, I'm not going to cut it. He didn't cut it. I'm not going to cut it. All right, let's give this trench sandwich a go. That's not horrible. <laughs> the sweetness of the jam is helping to offset the fattiness and the uh, saltiness of the beef. And the cheddar, of course, plays really well with jam and the sweetness. Um, it is tasty, but I do want to plus it up. I figure it's already unhealthy. Let's go ahead and slather it up in butter and give it the grilled cheese treatment. Okay, let's give this trench sandwich plussed up with the grilled cheese treatment a go. I dig it. All the fat that's in the corned beef is warmed up. It's uh, mixing with the fat from the cheese. And you still got the sweetness of the strawberries. The original trench sandwich, cold. I'm probably going to give that, probably give that a six. Um, it was better than just middle of the road, but it wasn't really great. Plus up with the grilled cheese treatment, <laughs> adding a little bit more butter and frying it up in a pan, giving it a little Christmas. Got all the fats melted and started working together. Yeah, it's probably about seven, maybe seven and a half. It's tasty. I am going to finish it. I probably will never make this again just because, um, you know, my heart. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to finish it. All right. Thanks, Pete. See you tomorrow.